Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to our Dith Martians Have Landed playthrough in EU4 with me, your host, Lucky Marine. We are up to our cap on Diplo Points, so let's have a look where we can spend all these glorious... Let's put something there. Improve production on salt. Yes. What about here? Fish? No. Grain? No. Fish? No. Cloth? Yeah, it's in woods though. Woods give a, a minus 15 modifier. Anywhere good. That's not woods. Oh my word. What's this just... Is that the... Arden Forest? Is it? Where's um, Paderborn? Yeah, that's what it could be. That's why it's massive. We have just woods everywhere. Nothing else but woods. Alright. Well, we're going to have to eat it, I think. Credi increasing the production of something that's a decent trade good. Be careful with gold provinces, though. You don't want to be pushing production up too far on the gold provinces because there is a chance you can deplete the gold mine and get less from it. So we'll have one there. We'll have... Go on then. 360. Hasn't that jumped up from 3? Uh, oh, the draperies thing. Uh, the draperies event increases the price of cloth. Which is nice. Yeah. Right, well that's brought that down. And that's brought our development up a little. Let's have a quick, let's have a quick look. In Denmark, uh, seven days. How's the loot around here? The loot is good. The loot is good. Let's be more constructive as to where we're looting and how we're looting. It's always good to loot constructively. One eighty. Let's go to. Let's go down to about seventy-five percent. Not about sixty-six percent. It will take long to shift back up a gear if we need to, but it just means more efficient looting. Hmm. All right. Our guys back. Let us have a little look. Would you? Would you? Would you? Would you? Trade power. Let's look for the trade power. 1.5, 0 0.8, 1.5, 2 1 2.3, 1.6, 2.3. I'm liking Flynn though. It's fish. Don't like fish. I do like fish. Love fish. But in the terms of the game. Flynn was a, would allow us in a future war to block to put a fleet here and block anything coming from Denmark's capital right we'll stay in until he decides to move and when they engage here we'll peace out because I think as soon as this army smashes into this Denmark's not going to want anything of it we will lose trust but we will gain land and that is what the Martians are after oh no way really Yeah, alright, Lindbergh. Oh no, where were they ships? At least we only lost two of them. Uh, 
Alright, let's go give them the good news. We are blessed. Indeed, we are blessed. Right, what do we get from that? Alright. Zero fa Zero favours. Yeah, we didn't do much, but... We got that promise and we give it back to you. Come on. It's going to be worth something. So I released Albania down here. Ragusa's got quite big. Nice. But that also releases Austrian for uh, Hungarian forces to... Are they working the way north? No. They'll get through Austrian lands and then they'll use the route that we use probably. Alright. What fleet have we got here? 11 galleys. Eek. How about let's just go in there. If you let Stockholm fall. Oh, AI. AI. How much loot? Nine. 13. Yeah, let's go over there. Let's go down to a little less maintenance. Playing with fire a little bit, yeah, fair enough, but... Did we... In all that development, did we kick everything off? No, we didn't. Alright. If, if you develop a lot, then you increase... Where did we ever develop? <laughs> Here. So, currently stalled at... 3.16 and that 3.16 will be from that one or two development that we did we'll just wait for it to naturally get up to us we'll spend our diploma uh, diplo points we'll spend all our points uh, if they get to the cap on stuff let's get out and help all right Are you two fixed now soon Let's try and block you in to whatever port you end up in. Did you end up in here? Alright, one dead. The other dead, I think that Denmark have has enough. Fine. graph expansion hmm war reps nope false, false religion give up claims on my land I don't care all I want is land off you and I think we have done enough and all treaties these nations nope 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 return calls nope I don't care yeah I know I know the trust but this war is done. You, you saw, you saw how quickly this general ripped through both of them armies. It didn't even stop to have a sandwich. It was just one straight into another without the morale going up. It just ripped them both apart. And I reckon he's going to peace out very, very soon. I doubt we'll get anything from it. Now we have. We have Lynn. Oh no, we've got Dirty Catholic Flynn. The worst, the worst type of Flynn. Alright. Are you mad? A little bit. A bit. I'll prove relations with you. 
Sorry, Sweden. Sorry, mate, but we have... We have to expand. And... Taking Slavzig, we still wouldn't have been able to effectively um, block Denmark in this area. Uh, but now we have a uh, have one of the islands we can sit troops on, so they get a straight crossing. Plus we can put boats in there, and we can siege all this at our leisure. Which is it's going to be strategically important. All right, I mean, it's a shame that we couldn't get uh, Jalen, but it, that would just have been too much. Uh, it'd have been too much of war score. Plus it's their capital. We will have to go to war directly for that. So, let's all group up. And we'll get back out trading. Of course you can. Alright, what's that done for our aggressive expansion? Not much actually. Because he was outside the Empire, these guys don't really they're not too bothered about it. Yeah, they're not bothered. Denmark's a bit pissed off though, but he's fine, he'll get over it. Yeah, we're gonna have to stop spending some of these points again. I think it was fish, wasn't it? Yeah, it was fish. Trepar's not too bad, I suppose. What buildings have we got? Shipyard? Yeah, shipyard's about right. Development's alright as well. 14. 14 development, really? 12. I didn't even look at development before. Looks like we looked out on that one. I was just looking at Trepar. But decent amount of development as well. All right. <clears throat> oh yeah, we should have probably have uh, flipped the provinces to Sweden. Oh well. I think we have to get rid of this guy. Uh, this is going to send us into no. Keep him. Eesh. You do not want to be dipping below 50. Uh uh. Can we swap out? We can. Because it's at 200 now, we can swap out both of these for something that will make sense. Um, I'll swap out the morale one for now. For idea cost? Yep. And uh, we'll swap this out as well for. National unrest? No. Dev cost. For spending money on development. Yep. And that's how flexible it can be. Um, we need the ideas stacked with the finisher for uh, humanist. Gives us uh, minus 15. Come on, show us, show us, show the people. I know it's going to cost us that much, but give us a breakdown. Come on, break it down. There we go. Full humanist and individual creeds. So it's just small points in the back, really. And this is a military tech given as merchants. Uh, Diplo relations plus one. That's ideal because that will allow us to get pulled into England wars with France and Castile. I've just realized that. Let's probably not. Uh, we'll save that for someone else like, um, who, who does Bohemia know? Bohemia hates Poland, don't he? Oh no. We could probably get Bohemia actually. Bohemian opinion about this Martian minus 1000. Well, how about if we tickle your bum and just so? We'll do that. 
we'll go down there and do that oh no I won't do that we will send someone we will go and send the designated bomb diggler to Bohemia when he's finished um, with Sweden's bomb right we need to get our claims on Pomerina now we want Stettin but we can only get this guy at the moment Stralsund because that's where the uh, the sea tile ends and we can only see this from Stralsund if we took Stralsund we were able to take all well claim all of this and what we want from Stralsund is at least Stettin so and hope that Poland don't get missions to take the Stettin just hope well, there's nothing else we can do in Pomerania. Let's bring you back and send you. Oh, gallery. Oh, gallery. Breaking the truth, you are one lucky mofo. Till when? Till when? Insult me, will you? Insult me. Alright, so you wait until we've got a truce with you and then you insult us. Well. How about you get an insult back? Did nothing for our power projection because uh, we'd already insulted someone quite recently. But it made me feel better. Who wants Condotter Ravensburg? This guy down here. Who are you fighting? How about no? No, 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 no. Mm -mm. Not sending my uh, fearsome Diff Martians out to get slaughtered by the Polish. Uh uh. Bohemia. Let's go tickle you a little bit. Because. In the wars to come against Saxony, I will want somebody on their back door ready to, well, kick the back doors in, really. I don't know. It looks like um, between Sweden and Hungary, they've got this wrapped up easily. Some of the troops, five years of separatism in Friesland. Is that going to do anything? I very much doubt so. No, it's a minus 8.8. .8. No, absolutely nothing. If anything... Wait, yeah. If anything, the unrest went down. Alright. Okay. Anti-clericalism. Clergy loses and loses 10 influence. Don't mind about the influence because they're not... The influence isn't high enough at the moment to cause issues so it looks like this is going to be good they gain 15 loyalty the burgers lose 15 loyalty though but we can we can sort the burgers out with something i think it's five prestige and you you get that back up again there's 25 local autonomy in hamburg all right hamburg how much autonomy do you have 30. the max you can go down to because you're owned by the burgers is 25. So we won't get the most out of it, but it's it's stuck it. It's stuck it. Alright. We'll take this. Yep, max goes down to is 25. But we will also compensate the burgers by granting them monopoly charters. Yeah. That's fine. How about clergy? 15 loyalty, demand administrative. 100 admin, loses 20 loyalty. So this would be money at a rate of about almost one to one. So we'll demand admin, but then we will make a generous donation. Ah, uh, it's not quite put us up. Alright. 
not quite put us up, but we have 100 admin to my contribution. Hmm. All right. Yep. That's that's not been too bad. Well, I mean, we're not going to spend it, but I'm not going to spend it on the the places that they think we're going to spend it on. <sighs> it is in a little bit. But Galbraith hates us. But Castile, let's let's improve relations with Castile. Now, the reason why we're going to improve relations with Castile is the more you hate somebody, the the slower. An institution spreads into your land, so we'll improve relations with them. Hopefully, let's have a look here. Will it will explain will it explain to us the spread and why it's so slow? Right. Never in province with colonialism gives us zero point six six, but if it was a friendly province, it'd be up by one point six zero. Now, I don't know if it means friendly as in the numbers have to be green. Alright, this. Or whether they have to be like green heart friendly on this page. But we'll. What's, what's the worst thing that can happen? We could do with this coming up a lot quicker than it is. I suppose for every 10 ticks, we get another one. I'm thinking along the lines of the... Something happened. I'm thinking along the lines of... Alright. <gasps> yes! Yes! My mate. My main man. My main man is in. Sweet. <sighs> means now if we take land inside the HRE we're not going to get the dude saying hey I want it back outstanding we have been tiptoeing around that bullshit for so long I mean you still get aggressive expansion and coalitions forming all that kind of stuff why have we got much yeah we've got merchants because we took that idea wake up wake up looking ring and so anyway on that bombshell um I am going to finish here. So what did we achieve in this episode? In this episode, we helped Austria out. Uh, we came back up and Sweden decided to kick off against Denmark, the independence war, which he should have comfortably won by now, especially considering that three-star general he had that's here, that's just mincing about, what are you doing? You're trying to force Norway out. How about, instead of being on Trondelag, you enter down here, Akashus, and just take out the capital? Take out capital, take out capital, which you have done. Um, and then, I don't know. I don't know. What can you do? Silly AI. Anyway, uh, and we peaced out early from that fight. Uh, it was up at 80% in favour. Denmark was down to low. Uh, Sweden had just sweeped into Ellsborg and smashed the Norwegians and without even taking a break had pushed on into either Dal or this and smashed the Danish and so at that point up at 89% war score in our favour with Denmark on low with Denmark's capital taken I thought we need to get out because Sweden is going to peace out right now. And if he pieces out right now, I don't think we're going to get anything. And so I made the the decision to take what was Flynn, but has now turned into Funnen, I suppose. Um, it was a, a strategic take. Uh, if we have troops here, if we can blockade the... Uh, this sound, the Orsund, then it stops Danish troops from getting past us and we can siege up here uh, in relative peace 
It, well, it, it just depends where Denmark puts the majority of their troops. I'd like to think they put the majority of their troops on their capital. So, having it might be worth it might be worth having at least one ship in here all the time, just in case Denmark decides to take it back, kick off, and are over the water before we can react. At least we can get a ship out and, and block the route until we can get the majority of a fleet um, back here. But yeah, uh, we took that and uh, and we are running our peace timer down with Denmark. So when can we go back to war with you? Yeah, already. Oh no, no, no. Here we go. Fifteen thirty-four. So yeah, in years few, we could be back at war and taking even more of them up. We would have liked Jaland uh, for the I think it's twenty local trade power plus twenty. That is huge. Although now we're here. Actually, no, we we could have done it from here anyway. But we can uh, be fabricate. I think we've already got a, a fabrication on Jaland. But in the next war. We could easily go and take out the capital. Easily. And we were. We were going to go and take what was Stettin. But obviously Poland needed to eat that. Damn you Poland. He did that. I mean it's only 10% but. Hmm. Oh Poland. I can see us. Having words. I can see it's falling out quite soon. He says. Tiny diff Martian. Anyway. I've been Lucky Marine. As always, you have been amazing. Come back next time where we'll probably actually take out Pomerania. Yeah, I know you love us now. It's because you've only got Lundberg as an ally. No one else would hear you. Well, not existing anymore. Get subsidies. Get subsidies from Muscovy. Muscovy, fair enough, is quite scary. Hmm. But yeah, yeah. Uh, next episode, we'll have a look around the map. We'll see what kind of aggressive expansion we have. We'll catch up on um, our claims. We'll we'll get them sorted out and. We'll see where we can go, where we can expand, how we can uh, make Diff Martian great again. Okay, take care.